new tires for my Harley Softail, but this video is all about tips on how to remove your wheels. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So, uh, I've just fitted new Cobra Chrome uh, tyres to my wheels on my Harley Davidson Softail Sport Glide. I was supposed to take it, uh, the bike that is, to a place and they were going to do it all for me. One thing or another, that didn't happen and it was quite difficult to get the tyres here in the UK, or so I was told. So, I phoned up another tyre place and they said, yeah, we can get them in for tomorrow. I thought, great, uh, so that meant I had to take the wheels off myself, which is no major drama. However, I thought there's not many videos on, on YouTube about doing it for the soft tails. Okay, so let me just give you a few tips first of all. So if you're going to take both wheels off at the same time especially, you'll need a motorcycle lift that goes under the frame there, and you can lift the bike up and also have it strapped down. If you go back into my video archive, you'll see me with my motorcycle lift uh, or motorcycle jack lift, and you'll see me using it and how you strap it down. So that's one thing. Okay, let's just talk about the front wheel first of all. Now, depending on which soft tail you've got, you might have a different front wheel arrangement with the front axle and the, uh, the little fork screw here as well. So it really depends, but essentially it's all the same thing. You have to uh, slacken off the fork screw, as it were, and then you're gonna have to undo the, um, the axle bolt. On mine, it's a 19 mil hex bolt, or hex nut, or hex socket that you'll need. Uh, you can get an adapter for it, or watch one of my shorts, I actually made a tool for it as well, if you haven't got one somebody made a remark said well why don't you just go and buy one well i tried to go and buy one there was none available so i actually got one the next day but anyway that's a side issue so jack up the bike have it level and with the front wheel what i would do is this don't raise the wheel off the ground just raise the bike enough so the front tire is touching the ground so when you slacken off the axle and take out the axle the the tire doesn't drop down and there's a spacer on this side and there's a wheel speed sensor on the other side and all you have to do is just make take those out and then pull the tire forward and it will just come out of the brake caliper there and just pull it forward so then when you put the tire back in or the wheel back in everything is already aligned okay so that's a kind of a top tip just don't raise the tire up or the the bike up too much just have it so it's perfectly level so if i wanted to change both tires at the same time i would take off the rear wheel first then the front wheel go to my tire fitter have them fit the tires come back and then refit the front tire first that also gives me some forward stability on the on the jack but also it's already set up for you okay right okay the rear wheel is a bit of a pig i've got to say in removing it and there's a couple of things you need to be aware of that kind of make it a bit clumsy uh, in my opinion so first of all it's the brake caliper here and then there's a brake caliper bracket which is right there well that actually hugs the disc as well so you can't really push the wheel forward too far and you can't pull it back too far without it actually touching the tire when you're trying to remove it it kind of interferes with it also on the other side the pulley let me just show you the pulley here will actually interfere with the bout guard so this is top tip remove the bout guard actually it would be even better which i didn't do when i struggled uh, is remove the uh, the lower bout guard as well but just remember you've got to put those back in and thread lock those as well afterwards but if you remove these two it'll be a lot better jack the bike up and then once you've got just the pressure off the tire uh, off the ground or it's just touching the ground then obviously slacken everything off uh, slacken off your chain tensioners here slacken off the axle nut on the other side and then pull the uh, axle out you got a spacer on this side here quite a large spacer and you've got the wheel speed sensor there and there's another spacer right in there as well and this is the the uh, caliper bracket here that goes all the way through there so you pulled out the axle now you've got to try and get this wheel out because it is a bit awkward so what you're going to have to do is raise the bike up and then you're going to have to kind of wiggle the tire forward so you can pull the belt off then you're going to have to raise it up so that you can clear that bracket on the other side you raise the bike up 
This obviously drops the tire a little bit and it pulls this bracket up. But I, but I forgot to mention, remove the uh, brake caliper as well. Okay, so you remove the brake caliper, you raise the, the bike up, that drops the wheel. And then basically what you can do is then just wiggle out the, the bracket out. Uh, it is really clumsy. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing it. Um, and I was doing it with that lower bout guard still in situ. I think the best way to do it is just remove that lower bout guard. You'll have much more uh, play with the wheel, which you can move the wheel over to the left and it would clear that, uh, that bracket there. Okay, so once you've cleared that bracket and you can pull that bracket out, there's a spacer here on this side here, right there, under there. Okay, pull that out. And the spacer on this side, you'll find you're gonna to have to angle the tire over to, the, to that side. And then basically that spacer will kind of rotate and pull out. Again, it's, it's awkward. You're gonna to have to move the tire left and right. So it's not a straight, you know, pull the axle out and the, the tire drops out. It's, it's a bit awkward, I find. Okay, let's talk about putting it back in. Well, basically it's the reverse process. You have to get that tire in, put the belt on, uh, and you have to jack the, I had to jack the bike right up so that it cleared the lower bout guard. But obviously if you've taken it off, it wouldn't be a problem. But also to clear the, uh, the caliper bracket on the other side as well. So it comes on the inside of the tire. So basically what you do, jack the bike right up, the tire is all the way down, and then you, put the bracket in and then you basically just lower the lower the bike down in in small little stages until the brake disc is aligned with the uh, the bracket and the bracket is just kind of push fit onto the side of the frame the frame rail right here right there so once you've lowered the bike down a little bit, bit at a time, and then you get that bracket on, and then you've got the belt on the other side, you line the tire up, you put the axle in with all the spacers. Again, it's, it's a bit fiddly. Make sure your wheel speed sensor goes in correctly as well, and that goes right next to the, the brake disc and the, the wheel bearing on that side. And there we go, that's it, that is basically uh, your wheel in and now all you have to do is just uh, retention the belt you can watch one of my other videos for that and just make sure the wheel alignment is correct just watch one of my videos for that and also just talk up the axle nut but there we go it is really awkward i would say and virtually impossible if you haven't got a decent jack lift to lift the bike up but i would say which i would definitely do the next time i do this is to remove the upper and the lower belt guard, and then that would make the whole process a lot easier. But anyway, hope you found that useful. Just a few tips on removing your wheels on a Harley Davidson soft tail, uh, in this case a Sport Glide, but it'd be very similar for all the soft tails. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website revelatehealth.com. Right, I'm gonna take these tires out for a maiden voyage, see how they get on. Ta-da.